A Terre Haute North Vigo High School football player is recovering after an injury at practice last night, and this situation brings up questions about keeping athletes safe. News 10's Abby Kirk joins us now live from Terre Haute South Vigo High School, and she's there to walk us through the many ways young athletes can help reduce the risk of a serious injury both on and off the field. Susie, the Statistic Brain Research Institute says more than 35 million kids play an organized sport here in the United States. About a third of kids who play a sport get seriously injured enough that they can't make it to games and or practices. Go faster, boy. It's a way to make friends, get exercise, but it's no secret that playing hard comes with risk. The older you get, uh, the stronger kids get, the bigger they get. Um, so, you know, our number one job is to keep them safe, to teach them proper mechanics, proper uh, tackling fundamentals so that they do enjoy it. Nate Green is the chief executive director for the Terre Haute Boys and Girls Club. The organization has more than 250 players ranging from kindergarten to eighth grade. Each and every game uh, we have uh, a, a uh, medical uh, personnel uh, professional from Union Hospital there. Uh, they're on scene. He says safety is their number one priority. When I do testing, I'm looking at how their brain manages and condenses the information coming in. Brittany Mills Paw Storms works firsthand with kids from the Boys and Girls Club. She is a neurologic certified specialist at Indiana State University. With youth, we're starting to catch up to what we already know with adults and like NCAA type athletes. Mills Paw Storms says the most common neurological injuries she deals with are concussions. She says any neurologic trauma should never be taken lightly. If there is compression or damage to the spinal cord, it becomes extremely serious and extremely critical very quickly. She says awareness is key. Even if it comes with a kid who has a headache after a practice or has, you know, maybe tripped, not even practicing, bumps their head, we need to keep an eye on those type of injuries. A preseason physical and using proper equipment are also ways to play it safe. Each and every one of our coaches that works uh, with us at the Terrell Boys and Girls Club is required to uh, be USA football certified. The ISU Physical Therapy Clinic is open to the public. You can call them to make an appointment. We'll have that contact information on our website at WTHITV.com. For now, live reporting in Terre Haute, Abby Kirk, News 10. Back to you.